PhD student attached to the geoscience program at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Kurnis Ramjari, said the aim is to empower residents with factual information so they can have a better understanding of how the Piparo mud volcano works and what that means for the safety of the residents. The community has a long and dangerous history with the iconic volcano. In February 1997, there was a destructive eruption, burying homes, vehicles and property under mud. Ms. Ramjari showed residents her team's most recent findings, which show movement and growth of the pressurized zones. These zones are areas where underground mud, gas and fluids accumulate under high pressure before an eruption. If you look closely, the shape of these zones have also changed. They have expanded in size and they have also shifted towards the northwest in 2025. So I was able to get an approximate rate of this movement towards the northwest and it's approximately one meter per year. So this means that in two years it has shifted towards the northwest by two meters. This means that the system is evolving and spreading. I was also able to get an estimated volume of these zones and it is four times the volume that was expelled during the 1997 eruption. The implications, however, are clear. The need for constant monitoring and early warning systems has never been more urgent. To put those figures into context, in 1997, 80,000 cubic meters erupted from the volcano, the equivalent of 32 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Whereas, according to the research in 2025, there is the probability that 315,000 cubic meters can spew from the volcano. That is enough mud to fill the equivalent of 125 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Ms. Ramjari stressed that there is no immediate cause for panic or immediate expectation of an eruption at this time based on the research. Residents were urged to be observant to any environmental or physical changes based on their knowledge of the volcano. She said the research pioneered by the UWI Faculty of Engineering Geoscience program needs more equipment and funding to continue their groundbreaking work in monitoring and understanding this important geological system. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.